Greetings everyone, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last episode, we took out Vanita's Remnant, and now it is time to take on an exclusive boss that was in the vanilla version of the American version and PAL version of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Now, before you actually head into this boss, you kind of want to get rid of half of your abilities. You want to have Lightning Ray if you're deciding to use Shot Locks, and you want to have four Kiragas instead of seven. You also want one fire surge just in case if you you know you want the fight to go a little bit faster. You want explosion as your finishing command, just in case if you end up actually utilizing your finishing commands. And you kind of also want half of your abilities to go away. The main reason for this is because this boss can be manipulated depending on what you have on. You really also want Treasure Magnet as well. Because with Treasure Magnet, you will be able to go ahead and collect your command deck. I'll be going into more detail of that a little bit later as to why I said you'll be collecting your command deck. Because there is one particular attack that he does that will push away your command deck. Also, D-Links are completely useless. Mainly because, well, the boss counterattacks your D-Links with... Uh, annoying gimmick of his own anyways once you're ready and you have to defeat Vanitas Remnant first but once you have like a save file once you've already beaten Vanitas Remnant the first time you don't need to Introducing the exclusive American and POW boss fight, the mysterious figure. No name for short. The no name has many attacks. He has renewal block that allows him to heal. The collision magnet that will be the bane of your existence if you were playing the vanilla version. Time stop, which makes him heal a bit of his ability. A, a bit. A, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a bit of his health and be able to counterattack the arrow spell that allows him to knock out half all your command deck. This is the reason why I said that you needed um, treasure magnet to begin with. He also has an X strike attack, which is fairly simple to counterattack with fire surge, and or any attack for that matter. He also has two different types of flurry combos: the short version and the long version. That one you just saw was the longer version. Now, this fight is basically difficult for many reasons. If you have seven cures, he will cast an ability that he will cast only in the second phase. If you have it, um, if you have seven cures, he will cast it early. This move here, it basically allows him to clone himself and to be able to utilize all of his signature moves that he basically was using to you normally. Collision Magnet, Flurry of Combos, X-Strike, um... And that's essentially really it. He doesn't really do anything else. You can counterattack this without with um, very easily with Aqua. I'm not sure what Ventus. Ventus has a probably a easier time for the most part, but you know it, it's fairly simple. This is Raging Storm, which allows him to run around. If you do get hit by this once, don't bother curing because you will get hit by it repeatedly. Another thing. Um, hmm. I guess that's Sonic Blade, I guess I can call that. Another thing I should warn you, don't get hit too much by his clones. I know that's probably like the most silliest thing to say, don't get hit too much by his clones. The reason for this is that if you get hit too much by his clones, there's a slight chance, and I mean very slight, unlucky chance, that you will get stunned. And when you get stunned, he will end up attacking you and he will kill you. In fact, it doesn't take a lot to go ahead and kill you in this fight. If anybody has ever defeated this boss without second chance and once more, kudos. And, you know, all that other stuff. I've seen videos of people already fighting this boss without using Fire Surge and, you know, all that other nonsense and whatever. And, to be honest, that's fine, but... I ain't got no time for that. Like, if you want, if you want to challenge yourself for this guy, then he already is. Then go right ahead. You can you can utilize practically anything you want. I'm just basically utilizing a strategy that I've seen on one YouTube video, 
and it's basically a strategy that kind of makes it a little bit simpler for me and also made me understand how this boss fight works this fire surge spam the fire surge spam is essentially using fire surge kiraga fire surge kiraga fire surge kiraga i decided to just go with one fire surge because you don't really need multiple fire surges or thunder surges to actually beat this guy you could just use one instead i'm only using one because my luck with this guy and not doing time stop is very annoying sometimes he'll do it sometimes he won't do it you can actually get a full combo on him sometimes sometimes you can sometimes you will shot locks will also be able to work as well but the problem with using shot locks is that you kind of don't want to use them too much or else he will summon a bit of that laser ability that you kind of saw back there for um for a few turns of his and you don't want to get hit by those because they can disrupt your combo and it's pretty annoying on the it, it's pretty not it's not fun <laughs> Another thing that can happen is that when you go in your command style, it kind of depletes your invisibility frames. Not so much as in the American version. In the American version, it was a little bit more difficult to dodge that once you went into um, your command style. Now, the best thing I love about this boss fight is that we're not playing the vanilla version because every time I get caught by Collision Magnet, I'm always expecting myself to die. Now, that's only a bug in the american version i'm not sure if it's a bug in the pal version since i never owned the pal version obviously but i know that it's a bug version in the american version because not only can you not dodge you can do all right <clears throat> sorry you can dodge the collision magnet but the problem is you can't get out of it the game um holds you still in collision magnet to the point where you'll hit the ground and the mysterious figure will retaliate and just attack you and then that's it yeah it's uh, it's a bit on the annoying side and it's kind of one of the main reasons as to why this fight's not fun people have said that this fight is not mechanically designed and yeah they're right it's not mechanically designed one of the main reasons that why this fight is not mechanically mechanically designed is all the secret bosses in Kingdom Hearts, in the Kingdom Hearts series, has like a strategy that you can basically utilize yourself. Unknown, however, does not give you no sort of challenge at all. His challenge is basically he can one-shot you with practically every single move he does. He can one-shot you with Arrow, he can one-shot you with Raging Storm, he can one-shot you by just poking you with his, um with his blades he can one shot you with his magic attacks because now we're in the second phase where he will go invisible if you go in this if you go into d-link mode he will actually go invisible so don't bother using d-links in the fight i don't really know what the purpose of using d-links i mean you can still attack him even when he is invincible invisible i, I always keep interchanging between the two of those words i don't know why but i mean if you want to fight an invisible person that can kill you in one hit go right ahead um, he will cast Meteor and Mega Flare, and there is also one more move that he does, which is Doom. Like I said, that move that you just saw right there. He will utilize that move early if you have seven cures, which I end up finding out when I end up deciding to have pack nothing but three, um, pack nothing but seven cures, just to see what happened. And the reason why is mainly because, like I said, depending on what you have in your command deck. And I think it's probably based on your command deck. I'm not sure if it's based off of your ability list, but it could be. But all I know is that when I had seven Kiragas, he was just constantly trying to doom me to death. So I only assume that it's probably based off of your, of your command deck rather than your abilities. Mind you, it doesn't really matter because No Name has very high defense. So you kind of do want to be at a significant level so that the battle doesn't take forever. Mind you, people have fought this guy at level 1. Yeah, you know what? That is a good point. No, actually no, that's not a good point. Because I just realized that in this game you don't learn abilities by leveling up. You learn abilities by melding. So it doesn't really matter. You can actually still do a level 1 run and still have second chance and once more when you end up melding a command so never mind that is kind of out of the window so even if you do fight this guy at level one who cares and 
it's kind of one of the main reasons as to why you can't do a second no uh, level one no second chance and once more for this guy because it's a cheat half of the time you think that you can win half of the time you think you can go ahead and try to avoid his attacks but if you don't have once more a second chance and you screw up even once and i'm pretty sure a run with no once more a second chance is probably like 50 times 50 tries of this guy and i'm pretty sure not a lot of people have that kind of time if you have that kind of time good on you that's great now that's his doom spell you have to mash the x button now I'm not sure if this is the case, but I think if he uses that Doom spell on you a lot, there's a chance that the number will be lowered, and it takes a while to get out of Doom. As you saw that, it went from 5, 4, and 3. I think it went from 5, 4, and 3. But if it's like 3, there's a slight chance that you'll die. If, it, if it's at 2, there's also a, defi a definite chance that you'll die. And it's not really a fun fight at all. Now, many people really had a difficult time. When this game first came out, the vanilla version, people always have said that this fight was difficult. And yes, I do admit that this fight is a difficult battle. It is a fight that is basically not war attrition. You really have to learn his mechanics. And beforehand, there was like no strategy for this guy. Like, there was like, n nobody could figure out how in the world they were supposed to defeat him. Usually they expect that, oh, okay, maybe you fight him the same exact way. Now, Birth by Sleeps is secret bosses, I have to say, and this is according to Vinius Remnant himself. Nomura stated that he couldn't defeat Vinius Remnant, and that he wanted the boss, he said to himself that, if the boss fight was easy for him, then players were probably, then it wasn't really a good boss fight to fight at all. Nomura probably has never fought this boss, even though I have um, seen one comment, mind you, I have to I have to believe that with a grain of salt, that Nomura has fought the mysterious figure, but I wouldn't know, because considering the fact that he was more so talking about Vanilla's Remnant and the mysterious figure never existed in the vanilla Japanese version. That means he probably has never fought this guy. Then again, that's also kind of a lie because, well, it's kind of a spoiler territory, so I'm not going to really go into detail with that. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Anyways, who is No Name and why is his name No Name and why does and what significance does he have to the Birth by Sleep plot? Well, he has plot, just not now, anyways. Uh, it's a it's a thing. <laughs> anyways, we're actually almost done with this fight, and at this point, this is kind of the part where people kind of strain themselves and kind of get to a point where they're saying, "Yes, I can defeat him," and then you slip. You slip up, and then you get hit, and then you die, and then you're sad, and you gotta do the fight all over again. The only strategy I can come, I can give you to this guy. Stay calm. Don't rush. Try to focus on him and not focus on yourself. Because the thing that the music that's actually playing kind of at this point is kind of literally you dancing with the mysterious figure. Which I'm going to literally call the part Dancing with No Name. Or Dancing with the Mysterious Figure, whichever comes first. By the way, that right there I thought I was going to die in. That's why I said that with Aqua's Renewal Block, it's easier to dodge those clones. But with Ventus, ugh, you don't want to get hit like at all. Because, well, with Ventus, you kind of do want to utilize his ability to air dash. That way you can get out of the way. But most of the time, you kind of just want to be careful. You don't want to get hit by this guy. He hurts. But you've already known that already. Other than that though, this fight is relatively fun once you've already know what to do. Yes, only when you know what to do. That's really all I can say. Only when you know what to do. It's a it's a shame. I know, a, a boss fight that's only interesting if you know what to do. And there are other secret boss fights in the Kingdom Hearts series that are a little bit more frustrating than this guy. But nothing will ever eclipse this guy because this guy basically has the audacity to say, hey, 
if you're not good at dodging or utilizing a strategy that basically does not allow me to attack you constantly, then you're not winning. But relatively enough, there are a lot of people that probably had. There are probably even more strategies to this guy than the Fire Surge, um, Kiraga strategy. I mean, you know, you can fight this guy without any Kiragas, and you can have potions. You can limit yourself. You can use shot locks. You can use. Well, you can't. Well, you can use D links if you just want to fight an invisible man. Um, you can utilize just your Keyblade combos instead, even though I don't really recommend it, because half of the time, he can time stop and probably counterattack you to death, and, you know, there is one move that he kind of did not use, and it's not really a move, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a thing that he does whenever he does time stop. There's a slight chance that he might come down from above and attack you. But other than that, usually he always counterattacks with a wind spell or by attacking you normally. Yeah, and that's really it. No name is not that bad anymore to me. It's it's gonna be terrible for a lot of new players or for veteran players as well. Because even for a veteran Kingdom Hearts player, um, there are times there are also moments where they also reset the battle as well. None, uh, there are some fights where people have fought him some first try, and that's great. I mean, kudos to you, but not me. Anyways, time to finish you off. Goodbye, no name. You have caused nightmares for a lot of people, and enjoy the cutscene, guys. And once you've defeated No Name, you get the no well, you get the no name keyblade. It's supposed to indicate that, you know, the guy has no name, so you don't know who he is. Also, another quick fact. If you come here before getting all the treasure chests again, is what I mean. If you come here again, you will fight the mysterious figure again. Because he comes back after you leave the area and you come right back so be sure to get all the treasure chests before you leave or else you're gonna really have to you're gonna have to fight the guy just to get a bunch of treasures like seriously that, that's kind of really dumb i don't get it but i do like that you can refight him just in case you know you want to utilize a different strategy or fight or beat him quicker or whatever but the no-name keyblade basically increases your magic attack it does not increases um it does not increase your strength which sucks and, you know, eh. Now, what are the details for Kingdom Hearts 1? Hmm. Well, Kingdom Hearts 1, it's on, it, it's on its way. Just, you know, we got to get these extra videos out for Birth by Sleep. Now, I've also, thanks to my friend inviting me for a charity event, which is called Sonic Month, which I recommend you guys looking forward to. I will put the Twitch... Um, link at the description below thanks to Sonic Month being able to be a thing for um, being a thing for a charity event for me I, it actually made me want to live stream more so I kind of will be doing like a uh, kind of a cage a thon even though that name has already been taken already I can't believe I missed those charter tests so you guys will be looking forward to that and whatever anyways that is the end of the mysterious figure. That is the end of my life. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Catch you guys next time. Laters.